Dear students, today we are going to discuss about FM generation method. And here we, are, we will discuss about indirect method which is also called Armstrong method. In the previous video we have discussed about direct method of FM generation. In that case we have used LC oscillators where the frequency generated by the LC oscillator is directly varied according to the amplitude of the modulating signal. But the use of the LC oscillators are not stable enough for communication or broadcast purposes. Thus, direct methods cannot be used for broadcast applications. That is why we go for another method which is indirect method of FM generation and that is also called Armstrong method. In this case, frequency modulated wave is produced by phase modulation process. And here you can see the block diagram. Here you can see phase modulation that is phase modulator is used. And you know that for modulated wave to produce there should be a carrier signal as well as a modulating signal. You can see here is a crystal oscillator and that will produce a carrier signal. And here modulated signal is here. And first of all this will be amplified by using a modulating amplifier. And then it will be applied to an integrator so that that signal will be integrated and that integrated version of that modulated signal will be applied to this phase modulator. So now the phase modulator have integrated version of the modulated signal and the carrier frequency produced by the crystal oscillator. And comparing to the modulating signal the crystal oscillator frequency will be higher and this phase modulator will produce the frequency modulated signal but the frequency modulated signal produced here will be of smaller frequency that means it will not have transmission frequencies that, me that means here a narrow band frequency modulator wave is produced. So it is not good for transmission purposes so we have to increase the frequency that is why we are using a frequency multiplier at the output of this phase modulator. So by the use of this frequency multiplier the frequency of the narrow band FM wave is increased. But when we are using this multiplier along with increasing the frequency it will also increase the deviation that is frequency deviation. As a result this narrow band FM is converted into wide band FM. Then it will be applied to a power amplifier before transmitting through the antenna. The power amplifier will increase the power level of the signal that is wide band signal Th then it will be apt for transmitted through the antenna or it will be good for transmission purposes so that it will be transmitted through the antenna. So this is the block diagram. Let us see the explanation slide. That is basic working principle is first narrow band FM generation using the phase modulation. Second one is conversion of this narrow band FM to wide band FM using multipliers and amplifiers. So the crystal oscillator generates the carrier at low frequency and it is applied to the phase modulator. At first the modulated signal is applied to a modulating amplifier. Then it is applied to an integrator. The integrated version of the modulating signal is applied to the phase modulator. Here FM is obtained through phase modulation. The frequency of the FM wave generated at the output of the phase modulator is lower than the desired frequency of transmission. That means narrow band FM is generated. So therefore the up conversion of the frequency is necessary because it is narrow band FM. For this frequency multipliers are used and this multiplier circuit also increases the frequency deviation. Thus a narrow band FM is converted to into wide band FM. Then that wide band FM signal is supplied to the power amplifier to boost the powers. Then it will be transmitted through the transmitting antennas. So that's the Armstrong method or indirect method of FM generation. That's all about this topic. Thank you. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. Okay.